All right, fifth graders, we have divide four digit by two digit numbers. And this will be our last long division practice for this uh, pathway, I do believe. So one thing to note on the worksheet, it says estimate the quotient, then divide. You do not need to estimate it. You can if you want to, to know about what your answer should be but you can just do the long division and there's only eight today so not as many as the last one i'm going to do partial quotients on this one and then i'll do the standard way on the next video so the first problem i'm going to do is 6479 divided by 36. all right so let's see, how many groups of 36 should we take out first? Well, I could do 10 groups and do 360, but I notice if I did 36 times 100, that's 3,600, which is less than 6,000. So I'm going to actually do 100 groups to start off with. As our number inside gets bigger, we can do more groups. So then I will subtract 3,600. That's 9, 7. I cannot do 4 minus 6, so I need to borrow. That's 14 minus 6 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, so 2,879. Well, we cannot do another 100 groups because that is too big, but I bet I can do 10 groups. So this is where I could do more. I could do like 50 groups. Um, but if you're not sure, you can always just do 10. That's easier. One, five, two. Okay, this one I can tell right now is going to be a lot of steps if I do it 10 at a time. But sometimes that is what we got to do. For 11 minus 6 is 5, 1 and 2. Say I wanted to try like 30 groups. Well, if I do, go over here and I do 36 times 3, that's 18, that is 9, so I get 10, so I get... Um, 36 times, instead of times 3, I'm going to do times 30. So I can do 108, and then I will just put a 0 on the end. So you can also do bigger groups if 10 at a time seems like it's going really slow. 7, 0, and 1. Okay, oh, I can almost take out 30 groups, but that is going to be just too big. So let's say I wanted to do 1,000. Actually, going to go over here. What if I did 20 groups? Again, I could just do 10 and 10. It's just a matter of how, much, how many times you want to write the numbers. So 36 times 20 would be 720. So I'm going to subtract 720. 9, 5, 10 minus 7 is 3. Okay, I can't do another 720. I can't even do another 10 because that is 360, and I'm only at 359. So I'm going to have to do, maybe if I know 10 is too big, I'm going to try times 9. So 36 times 9, that's 54. It's 27, 4. Hoping you're doing this along with me. Ooh, 324, perfect. So I have 36 times 9 is 324. I'm going to subtract 324, 5, 3. And notice how that is less than my divisor, so that is then my remainder. So now I have to figure out how many groups I did or how many I put in each group. So 100, 10, 20, plus 30 is 50, 60, 70, so 179, remainder 35 
is my answer for that one. So same process as if it's uh, smaller numbers, it's just bigger. So sometimes I have to do um, more groups. Kind of depends on just what the numbers end up being. Let me do one more example. Do this with me, please. 9,532. Just watching me is not going to necessarily help you. So, divided by 81. So, I can... I could do 10 groups, 810. But I notice if I do 100 groups, then I can... That'll work because that's 8,100. 8100, zero, zero, which is less than my number here. Now, sometimes that will not work. Say if I had something like 1,492 divided by 36. If I do 36 times 100, that's going to be 3,600, which is bigger than my number inside. So I can't always do 100 as my first group, but it's worth trying. So that I have 8,100, 2, 3, 4, and 1. So I cannot do another one, but notice it is a much smaller number than we got last time, so that's nice. So then if I just do times 10, I get 810, subtract 810, see what I have left. 14 minus 8 is 6. Okay, I can't even do 10 on this one. So what if I do, let's try... 81 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 80 times 5 is 400. So that's 405. Let's do that. Notice I did the window method. Any method is fine to do those multiplying to figure it out. So I'm going to subtract 405. 1, 12 minus 5 is 7, 1 and 2. Okay, so I can't do another 5. So I'm going to just do one at a time now. 81 times 1 is 81. I'm just going to continue my subtraction over here. 6, um, borrow 11 minus 8 is 3, 136. I'm going to do another one, 81 times 1. Ah, subtract, sorry. 1, 5... 13 minus 8 is 5, so I get 55, which is less than 81, so I know that is my remainder. Let's look at how many groups we made. 110, that's 110, plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 is 7, so 100, um, 10 plus 5 is, sorry, 17, 10 plus 7 is 17, remainder 55. All right, if you need more examples, I am happy to walk you through that. You just need to ask. I can send you another video or do it on a Google Meet with you. Just let me know.